Hey, what's up, everybody? Jason here from Poor Man's Preparing. Just gonna go over this micro survival kit made by Ultimate Survival Technologies. This kit costs thirty nine ninety nine, I do believe. It comes in a blister pack. And all the items are separate. Right here, you got a, a nice waterproof bag, tested by the Navy. Pretty cool, pretty strong, pretty thick too. And inside the baggie comes, you know, the instructions and everything that's in it. Alright, we got this flashlight here that's very small, compact. It's actually 10 lumens twisted to turn it on. See there, it's pretty bright for what it is. Next, we have the wet fire fire starting tender. It came with two of these. We'll test it here out here in a minute. <clears throat> here you have the striker, which it does work. I've been playing around with it. We'll also test it out here in a minute. Next up is this razor saw. We'll, we'll go ahead and test it right now. Here's this supposedly razor blade. While it cuts it, you see it's pretty rough. It ain't definitely it's not a razor blade. It's also got a little saw on it. It does work, but it's just small. It works good for what it is. And I wouldn't rely on it too long then. Here we have a signaling mirror. You see it works reflex. It's got a star in it so you look through on this side to whatever you're aiming it at. This did stick to the blister pack so that's why all this is still on there. It's just kind of hard to get off. Maybe it's just a one-time thing. Who knows? And the jet screen whistle which also floats. We'll give her, give her a blow and see what she sounds like. It's very loud. Hopefully it didn't hurt your ears. <laughs> Alright, now let's test out this fire starting tender. So you just make a couple scrapes. It's very easy. It's kind of like thick styrofoam or something. Sounds like it. Chopper it. Get your fire steel. Lights right up. Pretty neat kit. I really like the striker, and the wet fire works excellent. Uh, the compass. Works pretty good. It is liquid field. This, that razor saw is just a waste of money, in my opinion. And for the price tag of $40, uh, I wouldn't buy this personally. But that's just my opinion. But thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked the review.